Section 1 French artist Natalie Boutte cuts all kinds of paper into strips. Maps, novels, white paper, printed paper, tracing paper, banknotes, etc., and offers a second life to materials that had their own function in a previous life. Her creations are not simple compositions to define, although in many cases the materials she uses are identifiable. She is neither a photographer nor a sculptor nor a painter, but her collages are all these things. Her creations are three-dimensional. She designs by sculpting the paper. Her paper strips are scales, fur, materialized pixels, a pictorial coat. Her small strips of paper are added and superimposed to recreate memories. Paper strips are glued one by one, row by row. Up close, the texture of the paper is omnipresent, but from a distance, the material disappears in favor of a pictorial embodiment, a fascinating and magical editing with unparalleled attention to detail. Gradually, the image appears, creating a harmony between former lightweight materials and her new creation. Brooklyn-based artist Meg Hitchcock literally deconstructs the Word of God. She cuts letters from one holy book and rearranges them to form a passage from another holy book. By transforming one text into another, Hitchcock blurs the boundaries between religions, suggesting that they are indistinguishable from each other and derive from the same source. Hitchcock was raised in a fundamentalist Christian home and eventually left the church. Hitchcock begins each artwork by finding a beautiful piece of sacred writing and then a sacred text from a different religion from which to cut the letters. Sometimes she needs to hunt for a book, which leaves her scouring the bookstores of Manhattan and beyond. This is her favorite part of the process. Once she finds the book, she comes up with a design and cuts and pastes. Each letter takes four exacto knife cuts. Sometimes Hitchcock has a design in mind, while other times she just wings it and lets the type go wherever it wants. She also likes to stack letters and has recently begun adding threads cut from Tibetan prayer flags. James Allen has always been interested in taking common objects and transforming them into fascinating artworks. The Portland-based artist creates book excavations, sculptures formed by cutting away a book's pages to reveal its interior forms. Each book excavation takes the subject of the original book and condenses the content into a shallow relief. Allen aims to uncover the illustrations, colors, and words in a new format that reflects the sense of nostalgia for a time gone by. In Onomatopoeia, he highlights all of the unique noises and sounds used in comic books. Working with a compilation of his old Incredible Hulk comics, Alan cuts away the pages to unearth all the words used to describe Hulk's destruction and chaos. More adult themes are unraveled amongst the cut pages of Old Mr. Boston, a book filled with vignettes of Americana scenes and recipes for old-time cocktails. Though today's society shows a renewed interest in vintage cocktails, the book itself has outlived its usefulness as a resource for bartending. It exists now only as a novelty. Oakland artist Annie Vogt recreates handwritten notes and letters by cutting away the negative space, leaving an intimate artifact of lace-thin paper works. Her work also includes drawings and doodles, as well as many different contemporary forms of written communication. She intricately dissects the negative spaces with an exacto blade, using between 500 and 1,000 blades per piece. The repetition of cutting away the paper is a way of focusing on the line, a slow investigation into communication, line work, and hand of the composer. Vogt's cramped compositions create visual noise and are incredibly hard to read. Paralleling the oversaturation of words in contemporary life, sometimes only fragments show themselves. Yet even with these small moments, through spelling, word choice, image, and line work, the author is often revealed in spite of themselves. South African artist Barbara Wildenbohr explores philosophical concepts of aesthetics across a variety of mediums. By drawing inspiration from the work of individual scientists, discoverers, 
authors, and mathematicians, she exposes the connections between a myriad of life forms, from the microscopic to the immense. Her main focus is on environmental aesthetics and the mathematical sublime, an aesthetic concept first articulated by Immanuel Kant. The work is concerned with the idea of the mathematical sublime and how a boundless, formless universe could be regarded as something that transcends the limits of reason. Wildenboer's art mostly consists of photo and paper constructions and digitally animated photographic sculpture. She uses a combination of analog and digital processes to create sculptural photographic work that explores phenomena such as temporality, fractal geometry, and the interconnectedness of all living things. Finnish artist Jana Sivanoja never studied jewelry fabrication. She began her career as an interior architect and furniture designer before starting to make paper jewelry as a summer job. Her background in furniture design and fine art gave her the tools to make beautifully structured recycled paper cut pieces. She explores the concept of print material and jewelry as a means of expression and communication. Sivanoia enjoys the accidental presence she receives when making paper jewelry. She uses many kinds of paper, each delivering different lines, edges, and colors that inform the shape of the piece. Sivanoia never makes sketches and prefers to work on multiple pieces at a time, since her work is time-consuming and involves multiple phases. The process of making her recycled paper jewelry involves a slow, natural technique. She curves each slice of paper around the steel wire, one by one, as if the piece grows into its shape by itself. This way, the character of wood is preserved in the piece, as is the association to the whole organic world, the way it builds itself, being in constant change, traveling in time. About 15 years ago, San Francisco-based artist Sarah Burgess put an exacto blade to an unfinished sketchbook, admiring the silhouettes and the relationship between positive and negative space. Now she illustrates and then cuts, slicing thousands of lines until a story emerges, seeing and planning for what stays versus what falls away. Burgess is meticulous and calculated, and loves how unequivocally non-digital her craft is. It's the opposite of technology. It's raw, simple, soft, tangible, and breathtaking. Cut Up, Cut Out, on exhibit June 26th through August 23rd. Visit MaslinMuseum.org for more information.